Let's make another amazing summer side. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our last episode for this season. <laughs> Sounds so fancy of this series of amazing summer sides for the month of June started at the end of May. I've been sharing amazing summer sides. I've even thrown in a bonus recipe or two. Stay tuned to the end of today's episode because I have a bonus recipe again. It's for a chicken bacon ranch pasta salad. I've just been craving this and it's a vegetable growing season y'all and squash are in season. So I really wanted a squash casserole. So that's what we're making today. A squash casserole. We're going to be making this amazing summer side. And then again, wait for the chicken bacon ranch pasta. It's at the end. So I'm actually going to be linking the recipe that I'm following down below, but I'm having that because I don't need that much squash casserole. So I'm going to be cutting that in half. Let me turn you around. Let's make a squash casserole. All right, to start off this recipe, I'm going to be using half of a yellow onion. I'm going to get that diced up. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm going to be slicing up my squash. Here's our squash and onions. Let's go get this in a skillet with some butter. Okay, I melted about one tablespoon of butter in my skillet. I'm adding in the squash and onions. We're gonna saute this until the onions and squash are tender. The recipe calls for salt, pepper, and some cayenne. That's optional, you don't have to do that. The recipe calls for some sharp cheddar cheese. I've got some of that, but it also calls for pepper jack. And I couldn't find any shredded pepper jack, so I just uh, I have these sandwich slices. And so I'm just going to improvise. They didn't have any shredded pepper jack and they didn't have a block of pepper jack at my store. So, so I'm just gonna take about four slices of this pepper jack. Make sure and get the papers. Do this. Same thing, right? It's all going into the oven, so it's all going to melt together, right? And then I'm gonna do this. All right, there we go. There's some pepper jack. All right, so let's get this squash casserole put together. All right, the recipe says to mix this in a separate bowl. I don't want to do more dishes, y'all. So we're mixing it right in the casserole dish. So I have a casserole dish here that I sprayed. I have my squash and onions that I'm going to pour in there. I have this recipe, so this casserole dish is probably even too big, but the original recipe calls for a nine by 13. All right, then I'm gonna put in my pepper jack cheese. Those are pretty big slices. I'm gonna go ahead and stir those up so they can kind of be melting while I'm getting the rest. Then some cheddar cheese. Give that a stir. Oh my gosh. I've been craving this. All right. Then you need some sour cream. The recipe calls for eight ounces. I have an eight ounce container, but of course I've used some out of it. I probably have, I don't know, six ounces left. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the whole thing. Technically, if we're having this, I should have just used four ounces, but I didn't wanna just leave a little bit in there, so. 
gonna give that a stir. Just make sure everything is combined. And then I'm gonna put it in a layer. All right, so there's that. The recipe calls for a whole sleeve of Ritz crackers, but I have these little fresh stacks where there's only like, you know, about half a sleeve in there. So I'm just gonna crush this up. There's probably a better way to do this, but you know. All right, so crush it up. Sprinkle it on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Why am I so excited? Okay. All right, so there's our Ritz cracker topping. And then I have two tablespoons of butter I'm gonna pour over top. I melted that in the microwave just to get it golden and buttery. Okay. This is going into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Here is our squash casserole out of the oven. Let's get this on a plate. Here is our dish of squash casserole. Oh my gosh. The cheese pull was crazy on this, guys. Definitely give this a try. The pepper jack cheese and the cayenne pepper just added a kick. Oh my gosh, this is so good. All right, so for this pasta salad, we're gonna be taking a few shortcuts. It's okay. We're gonna be using some chickpea pasta. You can use whatever kind of pasta that you want. I have this in the cabinet and we're trying to eat a little healthier and this has 19 grams of protein per serving. So we're going to use chickpea pasta. You use whatever kind of pasta that you want. We're going to be using 16 ounces of chopped up chicken. I'm taking the easy route today. These were on sale. So I'm going to be chopping up this two packs of chicken. You do whatever you want to do. 16 ounces of chopped up chicken. We're going to need some cheese and of course, we're gonna need some ranch, and there's gonna be bacon, y'all. It's chicken bacon ranch pasta salad. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my chickpea pasta cooking up on the stove. I have seven slices of bacon here. This is turkey bacon. You can use regular bacon, but I'm gonna just chop this bacon up. Now that I have my bacon chopped, I'm gonna work on chopping up this chicken. Again, I took the easy route. These were on sale. All you need is 16 ounces of cooked diced chicken. We're gonna dice some chicken. Now that we have all that chicken dice, let's work on the dressing. So, I've got some plain Greek yogurt here. The recipe called for 350 grams. Each one of these is 150 grams. So I'm going to need two of these and a little bit of another one. We're going to be using the plain Greek yogurt and it called for two ranch packets. I've got one and a half. So that's what we're using. So we're going to work on that dressing. Now we've got our Greek yogurt. Let's add in our ranch seasoning. Chicken bacon ranch, y'all. Okay, let's give it a stir. Okay, I sand it down. It's still pretty thick, but it's not like a dip. It's kind of like a dressing. So we're ready to assemble the salad. All right, I have the chickpea pasta that I did drain and rinse with cold water. So I've got that here in my bowl. Let's add in, okay. let's add in the chicken. This is gonna make a huge pasta salad. Let's add in the bacon. And then we're gonna be adding in half of this bag of sharp cheddar cheese. It's two cups, so I guess one cup of cheddar cheese. And now we're ready to add on the dressing.
And we're gonna give it a toss. Woo, and this is a lot. Give it a good toss to make sure that all that pasta gets coated with that ranch Greek yogurt. And then we mix in with the cheese and the bacon and the chicken. look how much pasta salad this is i'm gonna garnish with some scallions chicken bacon ranch pasta salad and here is that chicken bacon ranch pasta i'm gonna garnish with some scallions this will be a great meal lunch prep side item for your favorite summer gathering and everybody loves anything chicken bacon ranch so that's gonna do it for this series. Amazing Summer Sides, it has been fun to share these with you over the past month or so. I hope that you enjoyed it. Try that squash casserole, it's so good. And the chicken bacon ranch pasta is great too. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not already thought about doing that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.